Hello guys, what is up? It's Danny over here, and today I'm gonna show you how you can make a cool glowing text with Cinema 4D. So, guys, you need to download the Cinema 4D software first, and then follow me. As you guys know, that the software will take a bit more time to open if you are opening it for the first time as I am doing it right now you can see it is loading plugin and all the stuff right now it is a 32 bit version of it it is the R13 studio R13 alright so this is how the software will look you need to place a floor over here first alright so there is a floor going to make a view of it I'm going to go to more graph, more text, and I'm going to select that text, change the text to then. And now we are going to change the font to to Geomancy. And there it is. And I'm going to play the text to the middle. And there we go. Our base is ready now. So guys, now we need to create some of the materials for our text. Our, I think Let's play the text in the middle and let's change the camera view while right there and the material for the floor. Alright, the floor material won't be that much of a challenging but still it I'm going to go with cyan color. The reflection will be of 10%, 15 I guess. Alright, you can know okay. I'm going to play it in. It's a bit darker, need to a little bit light it up. looks better now we're going to put the caps on my text I'm going to change to engraved have to do centimeter both of the have to do centimeter and there we go our text looks perfectly fine now only the thing which is missing is the material so we are going towards material oh wait we forgot about the depth 50, nah, 50 pack will be perfect. Mm, Alright, 6 pack is looking better now. Now we are going to work the materials. And the view. And now. Alright, this looks perfect now. Now for the glowing text, you will need to add some luminance in it. I am going to go with the luminance effect and change this. Alright, there we go. Our lens effect looks perfect. I'm going to place it on the text. I'm going to make another one black color so that it will look more and more classic. So, I'm going to change to 10% of the reflection. And there we go. The selection will be C1. I missed it. Alright. So, the selection will be C1. And there we go. Our text is looking fab right now going to place and the text a bit up uh, so that it won't be in the floor anymore so there we go and there it is our text is completely ready now the render time as you guys can see it is not glowing at all so the text i want to show you guys requires some render setting i'm going to show what render setting you need to do and oscillation color correction of global illumination glow object glow so these are the five things you need to mark and in the color correction we need to go in the color correction right there saturation will be of 10 percent and the brightness will be of five percent so that we could get our perfect text so here we go as you can see that it is emitting some light to in from inside the text and the text is looking a bit more cooler so it will take a little bit time mm. all right so it is taking a lot of time i'm waiting to see the picture all right i think it's done right now all right so the picture is done the last flash out gives us the perfect glowing effect but it is not looking that much cool as I was stating so to make it that much cool I need some explosion and all and some 
resolution to I'm going to change the resolution to 1280 by 800 so this is the resolution I'm going to use for this pic and now I'm going to put up some explosion in the text and there we go going for the explosion bar all right where the explosion where the explosion uh, there is the explosion we got our self explosion I'm going to change the strength to 90 percent 90 percent all right so we had changed the strength to 90 percent going to mess around with this kind of thing is speed angle of speed and size randomness everything i'm going to look for for the perfect explosion for my text all right so let's see which one will be most attractive towards us all right so this one's looking nicer but isn't that much of the thing we want so all right okay so i guess this looks perfect i'm going to make some of the copy of it so that we can spread all of the explosion around our text so that it will look that our text is breaking and the particle is going there and there all the way alright so there we go our explosion effect is about to finish once we had all the particles around our text and there we there is the last here I guess mm, let me see alright so going now the major thing is how we can crack up our text. Go to the graph poly effects, bring the poly effects to the text. Alright, there we will select the poly effects and choose the random. Alright, place the random where poly effects is and there we go. Change the factor of random to 5% so that the text will look like it's been cracked and about to explode so there we go our text is ready and our right, person our text is ready and now we need to render it for a time it will take a little bit more time than the previous picture because the resolution and the light effect the crack effect all of these things will take eventually more than the previous one so it can take three minutes to five minutes so let's see if we can get it up right there so it's been rendering i need to zoom it out a bit so that we can see it clearly All right so we are waiting for the text to get rendered and there we go the text is being rendered and we are waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting let's add entertainment to our template and there we go entertainment going to change the size to 50 percent 50 centimeters so it's not percent going to change the cap size to 0 0.5 see how much render our previous picture got mm, it will take a bit more time for now and we are going to finish up the entertainment part right there all right it's been rendering right now it will take like two minutes 
groups of so as you guys can see that track effects are looking fast the video for a second so that no more time can be wasted upon yeah. going to pause the video right now once all of the text is being seen mm. all right so we are back and there is our text being closed so this is how you can make a picture now I'm going to show you how you can save it to a PNG file or a jpeg file so go to the file and select save as go to the format choose the png and if you guys want to save it as a jpeg go again there and you can see the jpeg format on the fifth point so there we go png file I'm going to save it on my desktop named a danny and there we go our picture is ready. Going to show the finalized picture on my desktop. So, as you guys know, that this is very easy and only a few minutes to make this picture happen. So, if you guys like the video and if you guys enjoyed it, just support me by subscribing to my channel. I will be placing the tempted link in the description bar if you guys want it. And if you don't understand anything in this video, just comment down and I will answer your questions. Alright guys, peace out. I'm going to see you in the another video.